This was 1992, state runner-ups and an undefeated regular season. Fast forward 25 years, a new coach under the helm, a new offensive style, and a new attitude for the Dragons. We just gotta keep it up. We got good faith in Coach McKinney. This is Clinton High School, and this is On the Rise. On the Rise was, was kind of a, a, a theme we came up with that, um, you know, it doesn't take anything away from any one coach or any one team or any one organization that's been here. Uh, it's just Clinton's uh, been a perennial powerhouse in football if you look over the span of, you know, the past 75 years, uh, I think they're still in the top 20 most winningest programs. Um, so we want to be back on that rise again of getting to that level. Haven't been for the past 16 with three winning seasons. So we came up with that because it doesn't take away. It doesn't uh, create some unrealistic expectations. We're just on the rise. Basically that we got a uh, beginning, a new start, fresh slate, and we just got to build from here. I mean, another step up, I mean, I kind of think of it like more of a comeback as you, as you fight. You want to keep moving up to the next level and keep progressing to you, I mean, basically you the champions or the kings. Do what we got to do to get victories. We went one and nine last year. That, that ain't satisfying. We got to pick it up. For real, we can't, like I said, we can't live our life in the past. Yeah, we ain't been on the winning tradition and nobody thought we would win or get this far, so. As on the rise for us, we two and up right now, so hopefully we can keep the progress going, keep the grinding up. It's taking every week one step at a time, you know, just trying to get better. It means that we're growing as a family. That's what it means to me. It means that we're rising up as a family because last year nobody really cared to, for each other like a family. This year you can see people giving each other rods, caring for one another. It shows that, like, we're actually being brought up and that we're actually, like, going to be a force to be reckoned with and something that's not just going to be considered. A label. Last year, I feel like we didn't really have a lot of people on our side. Like, we would always go out there and just expect to lose. That's what everyone thought. But this year, we just have more people in the crowd, uh, a louder student section. I would just say that I think that we are striving for things that we haven't been able to achieve in the past. Like, we, we, we're trying to do better than last year and the year before that and the year before that, and we're trying to make something out of ourselves. Because it's, it's not just a, a one-year theme for us. We want to always be on the rise. Even if we do great, we need to elevate our performance to the next year and be on the rise again. For me and my wife both, I mean, it, it's, it's almost surreal. Uh, we've been away for almost 12 years, and, and just, just to come back and be able to reunite with the people we went to school with and some teachers that actually had us in class. Um, it, it's, been, it's been a great homecoming, um, more so than we ever imagined. Well, of course, I played here and I graduated in 1989, so the 86, 87, 88 season was before we had freshman year. So I played three years of football here um, and had a great career and loved it. Went on to UT, uh, played some football and walked on there for a couple years and, and I loved the game but also realized Without a scholarship, I was trying to pay my way through school. So I bailed out of football, finished my career, and I was on a mission. I couldn't wait to get back. So I came back at the time. I played for Coach Ron Brown uh, after my four years at UT and came back. Uh, coach Taylor was the head coach. And uh, so I came back and coached with him as the head freshman coach and kind of worked my way up through the ranks and uh, began to coach the varsity. And it's been about 12 years here coaching. Uh, it was all a good time. Bam B. That's uh, for all my brothers, I mean, I look at everyone on this team as a brother of mine. I'd do anything for them, they'd do anything for me. Uh, on the rise, we're trying to bring Clinton, put them back on the map as a top tier school. People don't think that's possible. I mean, so we're just going to let the doubters doubt and keep playing our game. He said in the beginning, before we all started, that we'd be here with them or with our family. So I feel like he's like, he teaches us that we gotta work hard. Everything ain't gonna be gave, given to us. We just gotta grind. It's already made me a better man. Like sometimes I go into work dreading, like, dang, I really gotta do this. I mean, it's other people that can pick up the same slack that you do, and it's other people that don't even work. So I mean, I kind of take pride in my job now. I feel like I got a bigger job. So Coach Kenny, he's just a big old leader. What's right and what's wrong, like the common sense stuff, and it all falls in place. He teaches you just to be. A Bigger man and do what you're supposed to do, and everything will unfold. That's really all you're doing. You got to be a man. He not only made me become a better football player, but a better human being. I try to be an encourager. 
better in life. Like he's he's basically like a mentor to us. Like um, like I said, he shows that he cares a lot. Like he'd take the shirt off his back for you. And I love that about him. Trying to trying to get to know me and actually you know showing that he cares and showing that it's not just. I'm one of his football players. It's like I'm one of his kids, and I, I just really like that. The matter of the fact that he he takes more opportunities and more responsibilities in his hands than the majority of the coaches I've ever had. He just will push you and make sure you do the right thing. And like when someone steals or when he sees somebody uh, do something wrong, he'll let you know that what you did or what they did was wrong, and expect you to do the better thing. I knew what he brought to the game of football. I mean. I knew how passionate he was. Uh, I mean, I just knew, I kind of knew what to expect, but I didn't know if he could really do it. I just want to say thanks because he's dedicated to this team. He's dedicated to each and every one of us. He treats us like, if we were his own, he treats us like one big family. And that just makes me feel good inside. This season has turned me around so many ways. Like, I used to think so bad of myself, like I wouldn't be able to do it. And this year, I said it. I've said it.